It's serious. And silly. It's seriously. Silly, but serious. But silly. With Scott and Sheila. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> Um, so today we have awesome guests uh, on our little web series is Amel and Zoe and they are our, uh, part of our nursing program and they're our nursing students. So um, they're really like the heroes of uh, 2020, that's for sure. Um, so I want you guys to take a couple of seconds and um, explain, like just maybe share a little bit about yourself, um, a little bit about the nursing program and what the program entails and uh, how long you've been in the program. So uh, I'm Zoe. Uh, it's my third year in nursing um, and actually fourth year in CJEP. So I've been here a long time. <laughs> um, I started the nursing program after a year in social science because uh, I wanted to help people, I think. And I had a chance to go in a hospital with an actual nurse and visit and see what that job was like, and I really enjoyed it. So that maybe made me want to be a nurse. That's awesome. So, hi, my name is Emil. So it's pretty much the same story. I've been, uh, I started college in 2017. It's been a long time. <laughs> and uh, my first year I was in completely different program and then I moved into nursing. And basically we are third years right now and we're trying to organize different things in this uh, whole COVID pandemic and trying to keep it fun for everybody. Nice. Awesome, guys. Thank you. All right. So, guys, we're going to switch gears. We're going to go to a silly question if you guys are ready. Here we no go. No problem. So, um, I'm very, very sad today, even though this won't be until next week, because my favorite show of the summer, Love Island, ended. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know, what is your favorite romantic show and or a show that you make each other watch? Well, my favorite show <laughs> is How I Met Your Mother, and I tried to make Emil watch it, and he didn't want to. <laughs> no, I have difficulty with sitcoms, but it, it, it's very funny, but it's way too long for me. <laughs> mm. um, and so... No, no, go on, go on, sorry. <laughs> oh, no, any reality, like, love, like, that your guilty pleasure, and you really want to watch this, like, Bachelor in Paradise, or any... Oh! Zoe, I don't know. Pointing to Zoe. She likes Occupation Double. Oh, Even no, if she, goes, no, no. she doesn't want to say it, though. <laughs> That's the Quebecois in me. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, thank you for sharing that. Um, so we're gonna... Okay, guys, whatever we share is just between the four of us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. I'll support her. <laughs> um, so we're going to switch it up, and we're going to ask you a serious question. Um, so as you guys both explained, um, you are in hospital settings, correct, uh, for school. So um, what has your experience in the healthcare setting been like since COVID? It's changed a lot. Mm -hmm. um, I think since March, every week something changes. Um, we were both working as, like, well, we both had different jobs. I was a dance teacher. Emil was working at Mont mm, saint and we had to change jobs and become preposé. And um, I worked in a sash mm -hmm. in a red zone, um, where a lot of like people died, and it was very hard. And then during the summer, we both had the opportunity to do our externships. So it's basically a stage that's not part of our school program. It's not like obligatory. Uh, I was in the perinatal, so uh, in labor and delivery, and that was very rewarding. And um, I saw a lot of things, <laughs> a lot of very cool things, a lot of positive in the sad COVID times. So that was fun. And now I'm back as a privilege at the hospital. Okay. For me, it was uh, pretty much the same experience. I got a, uh, I was, uh, well, the Ski Saint Bruno closed in March last year, I think, and uh, this year, sorry. And uh, pretty much I ran out of a job and then I knew that I could become a PAB. So I was just dropped in, just like the, the, the mountain stopped working and it was right before quarantine. 
So what happened is that I was able to become a little bit of a PE beyond on the tour in bon français. And uh, what happened afterward is that I got shipped from CHSLD to hospital. I went into hot zone, um, like medium orange zone where like we didn't have proper equipment or where in the middle of the shift, I heard like, oh, the, the, the boss of the unit is positive to COVID. So you all have to get tested. So pretty much we had pretty bad experiences with all of it. And we saw a lot of horrible thing during those times, but at the same time, we saw some beautiful things where I had a patient in my externship, which um, that patient had been for a whole month in intubation. So he was lying down on his chest. He had a tube in his mouth, couldn't move a muscle, was comatose. And then um, the first two weeks of my externship, he started walking, eating, he went back uh, about 90% of his mental and physical capability. Uh, came back it was very beautiful so it's kind of a hot and like cold part of my life <laughs> my goodness guys that's so incredible um yeah it's really incredible like i we know like in our hearts that like nurses are are, are and doctors are they're so important and they they should receive so much respect but when it's really like you you can hear these stories from the people firsthand in the field it's it's really intense and Thank you so much for doing what you're doing, honestly. And especially uh, social workers as well, Sheila. They're, they're great. Social yes. workers. Social workers are good to your wife. <laughs> My wife might be a social worker, so yes. if she's watching this. It's true. Sorry. Yes, of course. I'm like, why are you speaking this? Of course, social workers. Anybody in the healthcare profession. Okay. <laughs> Melanie, you're awesome. <laughs> Shout out. Um, Scott, I she doesn't a... watch my show, by the way. She's... <laughs> <laughs> um, Scott, I made a mistake. I actually asked the serious question. Would you like to ask the, the, the secret question? No, you go ahead, my friend. Okay, so in this show, we have always a secret a secret question. Scott, you're supposed to... Zomil, Zomil, Zomil! <laughs> this is horrible. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> Okay, good. So our secret question, um, because uh, Scott really, like like we said, he loves love. He's all about love um, and couples and all that stuff. Uh, so we wanted to ask you, who is your favorite celebrity couple? Or which celebrity couple, uh, famous couple, do you guys aspire to be? <laughs> yeah, that's what I we have a consensus on this one. I'll let you say it. Uh, John Krasinski and Emily Blunt. <laughs> yes, yes, I agree. And why? Why? <laughs> why? I think um, they're both characters that have so much, like, they're powerful personalities and they have such a, like, an impact from doing movies, like, uh, or just like TV shows like The Office with John. And then there's this movie, like, uh, is it a quiet place where he's producing with his wife? They're both playing in the movie, but then outside of this, they're creating like beautiful things, like uh, um, Mary or, Poppins. <laughs> yes, but there's a, a Instagram page. It's uh, some good news, oh, yeah. which oh, was yeah. created by. Oh, that page is amazing. Where and the movies, they're always so supportive oh, yeah. of each other, and yeah, yeah. You guys are the best. <laughs> <laughs> So guys, when yes. Emily and John uh, see this show and they want to uh, reach out to you, <laughs> if any of our wonderful nursing students watching this want to reach out to you, what's the best way to get in touch with you guys? Uh, well, if you're a nursing student, we have a Facebook page. So uh, you're probably in the Nursing 2020-2021 group. Mm -hmm. So you can reach out to us on there. Or uh, just like if you have any questions or kid, anything that you want to know, you can just message us. I'm Emile Farron. You can come on Facebook, Instagram, whatever. Yeah, Zoe Farron. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you guys so much for participating and being on our little web series. Uh, for those out there that are listening, yeah, so good, man. Really like a, hand, like a round of applause for these two amazing human beings like good job man <laughs> Whoever <we're laughs> here, awesome um so if you guys are interested to continue to watch our little web series we post on tuesdays and thursdays and you can watch us on our um youtube saint lambert champlain <laughs> mess up the <little> words <laughs> put them all together and you can follow us there on our champlain youtube saint lambert um page so um yeah just thank you so much for, for being here and you guys are fantastic. Well, thanks to you for having us. <laughs> All right, bye.
Bye. Bye.